Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to identify the index of each segment when you're using multi segment splines. To add a bit of context to this quick tip, I'm going to explain why you would want to do this. Let's uh, use uh, one of these three multi segment splines as an example. And when we're talking about multi segment splines, we're talking about a single spline object that's made up of other individual splines. And I'm going to go and create a simple cube, make it a bit smaller, and I'm going to go and add an aligned spline. And now I'm going to take this circles and drag it in here. And what you will see down here, it says segment. Segment zero refers to that spline, which is a segment of uh, this complex spline that has an index of zero. And you will see that this is the one, that top one. And if I set this to segment one, this is the other one and so forth. Now the question is, how do I know which ID number, which segment number is assigned to each and every one of these segments? And uh, one way you can go about doing this is uh, taking your spline, going to the spline menu and in the segments, use the explode segments and this will create an empty spline and all the segments as individual splines the first one is index zero this is index one two three and four but uh, this is quite complex so let me undo this for a second the simple way is actually to go to the options and turn on the polygon indices. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but if you do that, then when you refresh your viewport by moving your mouse anywhere on your screen, you will see that you will get a number for each segment. And now if I select this, which appears to be a hexagon, in fact, it's just six straight individual lines that are actually unconnected. If you zoom in, you'll see they're not connected. And this can be helpful if you're opening uh, various uh, line CAD files or anything like that to see if there's continuity in your splines. Uh, the same with this tree over here that is made of multiple segments. And you can see that this is the segment zero. This one over here is segment one. That one over there is segment two and so forth. A last little addition to this is that if you have a cloner and uh, let's remove this aligned spline and make the cube a child of the cloner. If you set the cloner to be in object mode and you drag a spline, let me drag the circles here, there is a specific mode down here that says per segment, and this refers to the count per segment. So if I set this to one, each segment is going to get a single clone. I can actually go to the options and turn off my polygon indices, which show the segment indices. And uh, what if I want this cube to only go around one of these? Well, there's a slightly different approach here. You turn off the per segment. And now for each zero to a hundred, this cube will go from one segment to the other in the same order as their index. So if I go back here and bring out the polygon indices, you will see that first, the cube is going to go around this, then around this, around this, and so forth. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.